Welcome back guys to another Android development tutorial. Today we'll be talking about how to create a collapsing toolbar that when scrolling integrates smoothly from an image view into a toolbar. We'll be creating a simple test application that will look like this. As you can see we have our image view and text view here. When scrolling as you can see the image view is collapsing and the text view changes its position. If we continue scrolling, you can see it's changing its color into a color we stated. And if we scroll back down, you can see the animation occurs in reverse. And the image view and text view go back to the same position. So let's get started. Now in this tutorial, we'll be focusing about what is required in order to create the collapsing toolbar. We won't be talking about the other stuff like the recycler view, the adapter and stuff that does not relate to this tutorial. So the first thing we need to do is set our view group for the activity main layout as a coordinate layout. So let's change it from constraint layout to coordinate layout. The second thing we'll have to do is create a nested tag, which is going to be an app bar layout. We'll give it the width of match parent and a height of 300 dp. The third thing we'll have to do is create another tag, which is collapsing toolbar layout. We'll give it a width of match parent and a height of match parent as well. Now in here, it's where the magic happens. The first attribute we'll need to assign to the collapsing toolbar layout is content screen. Now content screen is an attribute that states the color in which we want our image view to transition to. In our case, it's our main color, color primary. Now the second attribute we'll assign is layout scroll flags. So scroll flags. In our use case, we're going to use two attributes. The first one is scroll and the second one is exit until collapsed. Now, there are several attributes and we're not going to talk about all of them, but you can take a look at Google and see what each one is responsible for. But these two are going to be what we need in order to achieve the desired behavior. Now, the third attribute is going to be background. Now go, we're going to set the background to the initial image we want to see. In our case, is an image that I previously brought into the project. The fourth attribute is the title itself. Now the title is going to be, as you might have guessed, the title of the toolbar. We'll set it as username slash title. We'll give it a margin from the beginning of 64 dp. In order to see the transition that the title will make once we scroll down. Now inside the collapsing toolbar layout, we'll create our toolbar. We'll give it a width of match parent and a height based on what Android suggests using, which is the action bar size. As you can see, we are now seeing our title. Let's just close the tag and give it a collapse mode of pin because we want our toolbar to remain in place and not scroll. Now, a couple more things we need to do is change a little bit of the background and the themes. The first thing we'll do is set the background for the coordinate layout to be white. The second thing we'll do will be to set a theme for the app bar layout. And that's in order to change the title from black to white and some other attributes. Now, I'm not going to talk about the process of building the recycler view, but I'm just going to show you how to place it in the XML. So outside of our app bar layout and inside the view group coordinator layout, we're going to create a recycler view. We'll give it the width of match parent and the height of match parent as well. We'll close the tag and let's just give it an ID for the sake of the argument items 
recycler. Now the most crucial attribute for all of this to work is the layout behavior for the recycler view. This is what makes all of it come together and it requires out to state a string value which is going to be the behavior for the recycler view and the entire component. The value is simply string app bar underscore scrolling view behavior. Now for some reason it doesn't autocomplete me but in your computer it will be fine. So let's run our project and see what we have. Okay, as you can see we are seeing the image view and we are seeing the list that you should be creating. If we start scrolling down you can see the image view collapsing. The title has changed in its position and as you can see it's starting to change its color and now the toolbar is visible. If we'll continue to scroll down, the toolbar remains. If we scroll up, you can see the toolbar also remains until we get to the top of the recycler view and the image view starts to animate in reverse. Now everything that we just saw is up to you to customize. You can change the background and the content screen for a different color and the title. Also the scroll flags will highly affect the behavior of the collapsing. So that's it for this tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Please leave a big thumbs up if you do and a comment and I'll see you next time.